Hi everyone, welcome to Low Carb Revelation. I am Paula and I live a keto lifestyle. And today I have two things for you. I have a grocery haul. I just came back from our local Meyer grocery store, picked up some groceries and I'm gonna show you what I got. Now I'm also gonna be making meatloaf for dinner and I'm gonna show you how I throw that together. It's really quick and really easy. That's how I like it. For the month of January, I'm gonna be cleaning my diet up a little bit just from the holidays, having a lot of keto treats and all the things. I decided I was gonna make it a lot cleaner for the month of January. Now everybody's idea of clean keto may vary from person to person. I just really try to pick really good ingredient foods. I start with meat because my diet is a meat-based diet and I add veggies to that and those are whole one ingredient foods. Now I do eat a little bit of dairy on clean keto. I'll show you some of the things that I eat in a minute. I just like to stick to really clean ingredient foods. If I buy anything that's in a package, I like to look at the ingredients and see that they are all ingredients that I can pronounce and that I know what they are. There are some ingredients that my body just can't tolerate anymore. So I just make sure that all of the ingredients that are in foods agree with my body and that they are clean ingredients. That is not to say that I do not eat packaged foods, but for instance, this is Polish sausage that I picked up today. It is grass fed, it has really clean ingredients, and it is in a package. Bacon is in a package. I eat bacon every day pretty much. Um, there will be items that I eat in the month of January that are in packages and that, but I consider them clean keto. I am not a doctor. I am not a nutritionist. I have just been doing this for over a year now. And in the process of doing this, I have stopped my migraines. I used to have severe debilitating migraines and I haven't had one since November of 2021. So that is over a year now that I have not had a debilitating migraine. I have also stopped my joint pain and inflammation in my body and I've lost some weight. Weight loss was not my main reason for starting keto. I wanted to get inflammation out of my body. That's why I started keto. I have lost 40 pounds in the past year. My weight loss has slowed down, but I am not concerned about the number on the scale. I am concerned about my health and keeping my body pain free. And so that is what is my focus on this. Before the month of January, I'm going to be eating as clean as I can on keto. I have a grocery list on my website, lowcarbrevelation.com. I will link it down below. If you're watching from TV and you can't see the link down below, go to my website and I have all my recipes there. I have all my links there where you can get things for discounts. You will find a printable grocery list that you can use as a general list. This list does not have everything on it that is clean keto. I just brainstorm some things and put them down. There will be some other things that I didn't list on there that you can have. I just failed to list them on there. But it is a general guide for some things that you can buy if you want to do this clean keto with me for the month of January. I'm gonna go ahead and show you my groceries and then I am going to get the oven preheated and show you how I make okay, it. So here is my haul for today. I have right here in the front, these are two good yogurts. If you have not tried this yogurt before, I highly recommend it. A lot of stores have them now. It's really good Greek yogurt and they have different flavors and they are low carbs. Me and my husband both have one of these almost every single day. This is a new flavor that I have never tried and it is mandarin orange, so I'm excited about that. In the back here, I have two dozen eggs. I have some heavy whipping cream. We use heavy whipping cream in my ice cream recipe. I put it in my coffee. I use it in different recipes. So I usually keep that stocked up in the fridge. I got some Fairlife milk because I only use this in my coffee and I only use it when I want a really frothy milk. And the heavy whipping cream does froth up, but this froths up much lighter and I just like the texture of it. So I buy this only for my coffee when I have that on occasion. I got some full fat sour cream. I got some shrimp for my husband. These are really big shrimp. I am not a seafood fan, but he is. And seafood is great on a keto diet. Some Kogel hot dogs for my grandkids. I also got these, uh, I, sh I showed these earlier. This is the Polish sausage. I have some bacon. I look at bacon. I always look at the bacon packages and I look for the zero carb, zero sugar bacon. That's what I usually get. And I like Jimmy Dean's sausage. It is one of my favorites. I got some spreadable whipped cream cheese. I like to spread this on my celery sticks and 
I like the everything but the bagel seasoning on top of that. It is a great snack. I also got a brick of cream cheese in case I needed it for a recipe. Some Colby Jack cheese. If you buy cheese in a bag, which I have right here, I did buy a big bag. So if you buy shredded cheese, there is usually one carb per serving size in a bag of shredded cheese. The reason for that is they put ingredients in here that keeps the cheese from sticking together. It's a, like an anti-caking agent and they have some carbs in them. I buy both. I buy the shredded cheese and I also buy the black cheese. This black cheese right here happens to have one gram of carb per serving. A lot of black cheeses have zero carbs and you can shred it yourself. It just depends on what you want to do. So I have three packs of hamburger back here. I'm going to be dividing these up. These are almost three pound packs of hamburger each. And this is just ground beef. This is 80-20. You can buy whatever you want. I usually buy grass-fed ground beef from Aldi or Sam's Club, but I was at Meyer today and this was on sale. So so this is what we're having. You do not always have to have grass-fed meats. They're ideal, but you can get whatever kind of meat that you can find at the grocery stores. Right now, things are limited, and sometimes you have to just get the regular. And so I'm going to be dividing these up. Some of this is going to be going into my meatloaf. I bought a big package of this because my grandkids love snacking on salami. My husband and I will have salami once in a while. This is one carb for six slices, which that's not bad at all. My body cannot tolerate the ingredients in these low carb wraps. My husband makes a wrap out of these once in a while, or sometimes we'll have tacos. I'll have a taco bowl and he likes to have a taco shell. So I buy these for him. I kid you not, if I eat one of these, my hands are swollen the next day, my fingers, and I have pain in my fingers, and I just cannot eat this. If you can tolerate these and they work within your carb count for the day, then go ahead and have them, but I cannot have People them. People comment on my videos sometimes and they say that I don't eat enough, enough vegetables. Well, I have a whole little thing of vegetables over here. I do eat vegetables. We have a salad quite a bit with our dinner. And so I have romaine lettuce. You can also use these as lettuce wraps. I have cucumbers. We like the mini cucumbers because there's not a lot of waste. It's just me and my husband. And I have avocado. Avocado is really good for you on a keto diet. I have some squash and some zucchini. I will just slice this up and just saute it on the stove and some butter and add some salt and some seasonings. And it's really good side dish. I also have some fresh Brussels sprouts. These are great in the oven. Just drizzle some olive oil on them with some salt and bake them in the oven. I love them that way. And then I have celery sticks. I like to buy the ones that are already pre-cut because it just makes it easier for me. And if you take these and you stick them in a glass of water and cover them with plastic wrap, they will stay good in the refrigerator for a long time. So that's just a little tip for you. I have some strawberries here. These looked really good today. We usually just eat berries. That is our fruit of choice. I bought three packs of blackberries. We do like blueberries and raspberries also. I have some tomatoes back in here and do lots of things with the tomatoes. And I have a rosemary plant because I had one on my back porch and it just kind of died off from the cold weather. So I decided I would get another one and grow it inside because I love it on my steak. I love rosemary on steak with some butter and some garlic. It's so good. So I bought this syrup. This syrup is Walden Farms Pancake Syrup. They have changed their ingredients on this because they used to sweeten it with I believe sucralose, which I try to stay away from if I can. This is sweetened with erythritol and with stevia. So I bought that in case we make some chaffles. I also bought this one just to have as an extra. I wanted to try this one. This is actually sweetened with monk fruit. Over here, I got some zevia. We love zevia. It is soda that is sweetened with stevia. And so I got the Dr. Zevia, grapefruit citrus, and then the cola. And that is my haul. And so I'm gonna put these groceries away and then I'm gonna set up and show you how I make the meatloaf. So this makes a three pound meatloaf. 
If you don't want that much meatloaf, then you can cut this recipe in half. If I'm gonna make meatloaf, then I'm gonna make a big meatloaf and I'm gonna be able to have leftovers. And leftover meatloaf is great in my opinion. So I have in this bowl, two pounds of ground beef. This is the 80-20 that I bought earlier today. And I have pork rinds right here. This is how I make my pork panko or my pork crumbs. I just put the pork rinds into a Ziploc baggie and I take my little meat tenderizer and I just crunch it up until I have crumbs. This makes a delicious binder in this meatloaf. So I have pork crumbs. I'm also gonna be putting in a pound of Jimmy Dean sausage. You don't have to use the sausage, you can just use the burger. I make it with just ground beef sometimes, but this sausage gives this meatloaf such a great flavor. And so I am putting in a pound today. So my hands have been washed, so nobody worry about that. It's just gonna be me and my husband eating this anyways. But I have three eggs that I'm gonna break up into here. about a cup of Parmesan cheese. This is shredded Parmesan. I have some garlic powder. You can go to my website and search the recipe for this meatloaf. I am gonna be using minced onion today instead of fresh onion. You can use either. Fresh onion is a little better, but I am in a hurry today. I've got a lot of things going on, so I'm just doing it quickly. I'm gonna put some pepper in here, some Redmond's salt. I'm just gonna mix this all together with my hands because that is what works best, in my opinion. So this bowl is a little bit too small for this, but I will make do. So I'm just gonna mix this all up, make sure it's all incorporated together. I am gonna be using an iron skillet today. You can use whatever kind of roasting pan or baking sheet that you want. I use iron skillets a lot. And so I am just going to get this put into this skillet. And you can flatten it down if you like. Sometimes I do that and I'll just pat it down into the skillet. Today I'm gonna to be shaping it into a loaf. Okay, I have one ingredient left. I'm gonna be putting some bacon on top of this meatloaf. You don't have to put bacon on top of your meatloaf if you don't want to, but we like it. It gives the meatloaf a great flavor. This meatloaf has three meats in it. So I am going to be using my meter. This is a meat thermometer. You put this in your meat. It is Bluetooth. It goes to your phone and there's an app that will keep you updated on the temperature and you can put on the app what you're making and it will tell you when it is done. It is great. This little wood block is the actual charger for this. You just have to make sure there's a little line here. You have to make sure that you put this in up to that line in whatever meat that you're putting this in. I use this for my Thanksgiving turkey and it worked great for that. So I'm gonna get in between this bacon here and I'm gonna submerge this. And just like that, I'm gonna put it in the oven and I will go to my app on my phone. I would show you, but I'm actually recording with my phone right now. I will go to the app on my phone and tell the app that I'm making meatloaf and what temperature I want it to be at. And it will tell me when it's done. It will give me little updates. It is great. I have this linked in my Amazon storefront. If you wanna to go to my website and find my links, and then you could go to Amazon, my Amazon storefront, you can find this. It is a great little tool to have in your kitchen. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this in the oven. I have my oven preheated at 375 degrees, 
and I will show you when I pull this out of the oven what it looks like. So here's my meatloaf. It looks delicious. I'm going to slice some up and do a taste test for you. So I have my little meat thermometer here. I just washed it off and I am going to put it back in the little charger and let it charge for the next time I am making something in the oven or on the grill or in my air fryer. I have a way to check my temperature. It works out really great. I'm gonna throw a couple of little screenshots on here so you can see what the app looks like from my phone and you can get an idea of what you're looking at. This is, this is a very flavorful meatloaf. It is not dry at all. It's just very delicious. I'm actually just going to be making a big salad and we're just gonna have meatloaf and salad tonight for dinner. So I'm gonna go ahead and Try a bite. Breakfast sausage gives this meatloaf such a good flavor. You do not have to add a lot of spices to this because of the flavor from sausage. So that is my meatloaf recipe. That is it for my video for today. So make sure you subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on my future videos, especially if you're gonna be doing the clean keto with me for the month of January. Give me a thumbs up for this video because it really helps my channel out. I will see you really soon. Have a great day and God bless.